The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve from Boatest.com, and today we're testing the Formula 310 FX5. Formula designed the FX series to combine the lines and style of their sport boats with the eye appeal of the Fast Tech Performance line. Let's see how they've done as we take a detailed look at this 310 FX5 from stem to stern. The bow is accessed by a comfortable windshield walkthrough with grab rails. Non-skid runs down the center of the foredeck, two hatches are to the sides and minimal bow rails flank the sides of the bow. Fully forward is a hatch that on our test boat covers the anchor locker that is set up for an optional windlass. Custom logoed pull-up cleats are to the sides. The 310 helm offers a double wide wraparound helm seat with dual flip-up bolsters. The panel has over large Laborsi gauges including a GPS based speedo with a max recall feature. The Garmin GPS is standard and the premium steering wheel felt great. Not only is the panel nicely laid out, but you really have to appreciate the carbon fiber matting with the overlay on top. It just looks so classy with the Laborsi gauges. Notice the ergonomics of the controls. Everything right at your fingertips exactly as it should be. In the sitting position, I was looking at the windshield frame, but only when at no wake speed. Cruise was perfect, and of course, up on the bolster I was above it all. You'll also like how the observer gets to use the steps to serve as a footrest and a brace when the seas get sloppy. To port is a double wide seat that faces the captain. Storage is underneath and it's not quite long enough to stretch your legs out when lounging. The steps to the walkthrough again provide a good brace when cutting through the chop. As we move aft, there's an entertainment center to port with covers that feature the same carbon fiber and overlay that we saw at the helm. To the left is a wastebasket and to the right, a sink with hot and cold water if you opt for the water heater. A grab handle is at waist height, and below is a storage compartment that also houses the main battery switches, and on our test boat, we had the optional cockpit refrigerator. Notice that it's a pull-out fridge, so the contents won't get dumped out when you open it. Just across is J seating with storage under all seats. The starboard seat has a dedicated space to secure the cockpit table. The aft seat serves double duty as an aft-facing rumble seat, as well as allowing an easy conversion to a double-wide sun pad. This is a brilliant use of space as opposed to having a dedicated sun pad that we usually see. The engine compartment is accessed by a switch on the helm panel and when fully open the hatch extends into the walkway to the swim platform. Inside I found easy access to the twin engines, in the case of our test boat, twin 380 horsepower Merc Cruiser 8.2 mags. The walkthrough to the swim platform is 16 inches wide and the gate opens inward so falling against it does not equate to falling out. The aft deck is wood grain vinyl, there's storage under the aft rumble seat for fenders, and the hatch has LED lights attached to a King starboard base. To starboard are the optional shore power inlet, TV hookup, and city water inlets. Down below is comfortable V seating with butter soft ultra leather upholstery with the FX logos embroidered in and a carbon fiber accent strip. Fully forward, you can see how the cushions for converting to a berth are stored, and the high-low table stores just aft. There's storage under the seats and aft next to the stairs. Overhead is a combination of what feels like crushed velvet and vinyl. It was very easy to see that the fit and finish is first rate. A modest wet head lies to starboard and to port is a galley with a stainless sink, fridge and microwave. Now let's get underway and see how this FX5 performs. One of the first things that hits you is how cool the FX sounds as you idle out the channel with a through hull exhaust. It has a deep throaty rumble that sounds so tough on this great looking boat. The FX5 measures in at 31 feet length overall, her beam is 9 feet 6 inches and draft is just over 3 feet. With an empty weight of 9,750 pounds, 3 quarters fuel and 2 people on board, we had a test weight of just over 10,700 pounds. Top speed came in at 4,500 RPM and 57 miles per hour. At that speed, we were burning 65.5 gallons per hour while getting 0.87 miles per gallon for a range of 102 miles. Best cruise was found to be at 3,000 RPM and 33.3 miles per hour. Now I was measuring a 21.55 gallon per hour fuel burn while getting 1.55 miles per gallon for a range of 181 miles. I noticed a roughly 14 degree bow rise when I hit the throttle and from the sitting position I did lose sight of the horizon briefly. When on the bolster, that's not a factor. When coming off plane, the 310 settles in stern first, so you want to clear the view ahead when pulling the power off too. 
time to plane was 4.4 seconds, and we hit 20 miles per hour in only 8.5 seconds and continued accelerating through 30 miles per hour in 12.2 seconds. The 310 tends to bleed off speed in turn, so as you enter a turn, add power, complete the turn, and then back off on rollout. She's also very responsive to the helm, both at low speed and cruise, so not only is she fun to drive, but will make an excellent water sports boat. In my opinion, Formula succeeded in their efforts to combine looks and performance into one very cool and fun to operate boat. And with that, that's our full test and features walkthrough of the 310 FX5 by Formula Boats. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.